Hey guys, just checking in with you. I've been really busy the past few days. We're currently top coating this place. I did the base coat last week, and uh, so we're wrapping this up today. Did a two inch base, one inch top coat with type four, and uh, I'm in the skid. Chris is driving. I've been pulling out of his. We already did uh, 21 ton with HX2. Chad's driving that. He went to get another load. He's doing 21 tons in the triaxle. Chris is doing 18s. We did 100 ton on Thursday. And now this is probably a 55 ton. Yeah, 55 ton top coat we're gonna do. So just figured I'd check in with you guys. What's up, everybody? We are wrapping up this job this morning. 160 tons between the base coat and the top coat. And of course, yesterday we ran out after the plant was closed, short about eight ton. Next 10 days show good, good weather. So hopefully that'll mean we can start getting caught up on some of this stuff. This one's a wrap. We are headed to the next one. I'll show you guys what it looks like. Hopefully Chris gets in the other lane and doesn't kill me. All right, let's head to the next. This is our second job of the day. In the industry, we call this a hand job which isn't as fun as what you're thinking. And of course, like a little bitch, I hop in the skid steer <clears throat> to make sure that I don't get dirty or sweat. All right, we're all done here. Eight tons put in by hand. Contractor had it prepped for us.
by the way look how shiny this thing is had it ceramic coated today we'll see if it's a sham or not but for now down here in South Burlington today today's Thursday just got this one ripped out Chris just hauled it away gonna bring back some gravel had a decent waterbed feeling up by the garage so we just dug all this clay out tomorrow we'll come in with some fabric and get some new gravel put it in there they had a bunch of cold patch going into the uh, garage there was like a good lip a bunch of cold patch in there for a ramp and it looks like they had the garage floor poured, which is cracked now, and uh, I'm sure it was all ruined because of this clay too, but this stuff was just a nice little waterbed. So we took as much out as we could, you know, like right here, me and my Crocs with socks. So we gotta shuffle some stuff around, quit for the day because we're gonna bring back the fabric with us tomorrow. So when Chris gets back, he'll dump the gravel out there. We'll fill up his truck with his clay so we can get that out of here. He's gonna take our trailer back because we gotta pick up one of the skid steers at the last job and bring it back to home base. So that's what's happening here at the moment. Very, very, very exciting. Hopefully you guys don't mind being on the edge of your seat like this. That was dumb. I'm going to cut that out. Alright, got the gravel dropped off. He's loading out that fill right now. Then Chris can hook up the trailer. Chris, you're going to have to pull up after he dumps in there. Yeah, man. Just came to check on Josh. This is our new Kubota pickup room. The thing is seven feet wide. It's giant. Like, we're going to have to buy a tractor trailer just to haul this around with everything else. Cat wanted 11,000. Kubota wanted 6,700. I kind of feel like they do the same thing, so ended up going with a Kubota. Looks like I got half of it done. Try to get guys on camera and they all run away. Almost wrapped up here.
morning. So it's uh, Tuesday, the 17th. It's my daughter Emma's 18th birthday. And I'm playing gopher today. I'm headed to see Chad. He's digging out a asphalt driveway. Get it ready for us to pave. And he's putting in a 10 inch culvert and a parking area for I guess the customer has a new Mercedes RV or something, so we're going to be putting in a parking spot for that. So I'm bringing him down the dump trailer. I've got a 10 inch culvert. I've got a roll of drainage pipe for another job. I've got some trench drains for that job. Um, then I got to go see Josh and them. They're wrapping up yesterday's prep job. And I gotta show them the next one, which is also in St. Albans. So by the end of the week, we're gonna have five or six good sized jobs prepped and ready to pave. So we should be able to pave quite a bit next week. The weather's still cooperating. Pretty nice out. I can almost say that we actually have some dust, which is something we haven't seen in the last year or two. But uh, right now I'm just Sitting in traffic, trying to get where I'm going very slowly. All right, I just got up to Chad's newest job. Just gotta drop this culvert off. Culvert's going basically where the 259's sitting. So that's where they're gonna put their little pad for the little camper. So we're tearing out the asphalt of this parking area. Got a little hand work to do, there's a little walkway through a gate that we got to get but we're tearing this out get this base figured out and get it prepped for Josh so we brought the Kubota in since it's a little narrow you can't really get a skid steer out to the side of the truck to load it so big excavator makes things a lot easier ship here and this is the first time I've come with the back rack and the light bar and I'm a 
little worried that it's not going to fit and we're going to find out the hard way. And I had one guy telling me to do one thing and another guy telling me to do another. So we'll see what happens. But I think we'll be okay. If not, I'm going to trade this truck in because I bought a single rear wheel so I could run it through an automated car wash like this one. And if I can't get through it, that's going to be a real bummer. So let's all watch. We will all hear it together. There it goes. I'm serious. If it hits, the bar's coming off and we're trading the truck. There's no like height bar telling you what works and doesn't work. <clears throat> oh, I'm not getting a good feeling about this. It's got to be so close right here. like I'm in a prostate exam. If we cleared that one. That had some metal up top that looked really close. Far so good. Folks, barring any instances through the blowers, I think we're okay. I didn't hear anything. Everything looks fine. That's a relief. That was going to cost me a lot of money to replace this truck. Good morning, everybody. Saturday morning. Nice and cool. 62 degrees out. Very quiet. Nice morning. It's kind of a bummer that it's fall. Another summer and spring flew by which if you're in this business is pretty much par for the course. Here in Vermont, I hate winter so much and I love summer, but you don't really have a lot of time to enjoy it because you're out there working every single day. I kind of envy the guys that live in the South, at least from a work perspective. Winter time doesn't suck as much down there. I'm kind of over plowing, so it doesn't really excite me. And I don't know. I don't like cold weather that much. And uh, But right now, it's just really beautiful out. Kubota's here. Didn't use it 
too much this week, just on one job. We've been using it to tear out asphalt if there's not a lot of space to get a skid steer in and be able to load over the side of the dump. So we brought that out on a couple jobs. And I brought this thing in, 262. I gotta cover it in pave pro and clean it because she is looking pretty crappy right now. So I'm gonna soak that today. I also gotta replace that work light up in the front that got busted this spring. And I finally just got time to buy a new one. So got brand new pavement here. I did not plan on it, but we had a job this week in St. Albans and I ordered too many uh, tons. So we had six ton left. So we came back here to the shop and paved a three inch pad. Give us a place to park, wash things. Had to back it up with a bunch of gravel because it was sticking out like a sore thumb. But it'd be kind of nice. I'd pave the whole thing if we owned the place. Wondering. I did drive the Mustang today. I have not driven it pretty much at all this summer. They were doing all that construction at my house on the highway and I just didn't want to get it all covered in crap. But they put the base coat down and the approach going in and out of my driveway is still a little steep. But I just decided to take it out today and drive it and have a little fun. Since they put the base coat of material down on Route 15, we finally decided to clean this thing off. Used it yesterday to move some smaller machines, but otherwise she's just been sitting here. I've been driving my 2024 lately. Here I put sand and salt in this. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that this year. Last year it worked out okay, but it wasn't ideal and I put a few slits in the side of the walls getting in and out with the skid steer so not sure if we're going to use this again for that or if we're going to store stuff inside it instead I've got a brand new one sitting up in my sugar house that <clears throat> I let a friend put some stuff in ideally it would be cool to put up a building over the two store stuff in here pave a pad for sand and salt and put some concrete blocks up on the back but uh, I don't know haven't really decided on that been using the 289 quite a bit doing tear outs it reaches up over the side of both trucks so it's pretty nice I think our 259 that we got last year is probably headed out and replace it with another 289 259 just doesn't quite reach over the side like I'd want it to. And this machine's proven to be very versatile. So I think we've got a line on a 2021 289 D3 with less than 500 hours on it through the dealer. If we can come to terms on a trade number, probably do that. We ended up buying this thing which is basically the equivalent of what we were using from DeWalt. So I don't really know anything about it. I just know that we now have a, a Milwaukee and two of these eight amp hour batteries for it. And um, it was like seven, 600 bucks, I guess. Um, I don't know. Everybody gets all horned up about Milwaukee. I don't give a shit. I just want it to work. But Chris said it works pretty good. I'm thinking about welding this socket to that and welding that chuck solid. So this thing's only used for one thing. And if somebody steals it, I want them to be pissed off that they can only use it for... 14 millimeter applications David said the asphalt wouldn't come out of the bed of this Looks like some of it did Hmm 
Yeah, pretty much clean as I fall down over the bank. That's good. I didn't want to dig it out with the excavator. So originally I had the black truck listed for 127,000 and it didn't move. A buddy of mine said the price was high, so I dropped it to 115. Had a couple of tire kickers. Nothing. Dropped it to 113. I put it up on commercial truck trader, which is 300 bucks and an absolute waste of money because I haven't gotten a single inquiry. I know it's the time of year, so I shouldn't be surprised, but right now I'm kind of torn about what to do with it. I don't know if we keep it or what. The whole point of that truck was to fill the gap from when we knew the old or the new truck was coming it was going to be extremely delayed. So we knew we needed two trucks this summer. And now the new truck's here kind of nice having three um, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do if we keep it I kind of want to refurbish it and run it next year but we'll have to I don't know figure it out but uh, this week was great we had perfect weather we had perfect attendance by the employees guys Knocked it out of the park every day. Gavin's new. He's been working with Chad on drainage. And then when we're paving, I stick him over with them. And uh, he's been working out great. Um, so yeah, as long as employees are doing their job and not stressing me out, you know, it's fun being a business owner. So I'd like to think the streak can continue, at least until next video.